Hi guys, it's Molly. All right, I was just chilling. Yeah, oh, uh, still in bed. <laughs> yeah, it's my nest. It's where I like to hang out. Yeah, I'm getting the bag of cards back. Yeah. So, what's up, dudes? Yeah, somebody may have done a flash dance. Say what? <laughs> I do have some transmissions, but I don't believe I have to read them. I think they're just for the, uh, the comment section. Yep, it's this one. Okay, I'm looking right in the silver of, these are lined in silver. And when I looked down in the bag, it was like, oh, yeah. All right, this is the deck we're getting this. What's up, dudes? I'm Molly. I'm a clear audience psychic empath. I do have my headphones on. There is a, the head, I don't get anything through the headphones. I have ears. I'm not AI. I'm person. <laughs> but I like the feeling that the headphones give me, um, they're not completely uh, noise canceling, but they do give me more of a, I hear insular bubble. An insular bubble. <laughs> All right, so anything I say is party and message. I'm a clear audience psychic empath. I am channeling, so, okay, some cards just jumped. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, well, I'll have to do something with that. Yeah, see, this, there's nothing, I have nothing set up. Yeah. Uh, uh, so here's what jumped. The Seven of Wands and the King of Swords. We're in reverse. Yeah. All right. This is a seriously fucked up vibe. Okay. What's over here? The Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups this way. All right. So. Spirit. Yeah. Gave somebody a test. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I hear, what would you do? Okay, I see that TV show, What Would You Do? Yep. Uh-huh. All right. There's two vibrations you could look at it as. Uh-huh. Are you a giver or a taker? Okay. Do you look or do you look away? Okay. Are you who you say you are? Oh, all right. That was the test. All right. Over here we have Darth Vader. Yeah. King of Swords. Mm-hmm. And here, this card is my person who's getting triggered and tested by their ego. Yeah, somebody pulls their sword and says, I'm God. Uh-huh. Are you going to? Let whatever I, Darth Vader says, uh-huh, back you into a corner and trigger the fuck out of you. Mm. Or, over here, we have the Ten of Cups, yes, and the Six of Cups, yes. Or are you going to say, hello, beautiful glowing orb inside of a skin suit. Yes, I do recognize you from the past life. Yes, you helped me in the past life when I was having trouble. Yes, nothing grew in my garden. It was all rainy. Yes, remember? And you showed up. Oh, yes, it's Reuben James. Yes. Mm. A virtuous man in the past life. Yes. Mm. He raised, yes, darlings. He raised the town horse child. Yes. When nobody else wanted it. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, mm, potential of this vibration or potential of cosmic love? Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a dollar? Oh, yeah. Do you have a dollar? Here's the other. The Three of Swords and the Star. Listen up. 
crusty heart chakras everywhere. Yes, we're going grocery shopping. Mm. <coughs> pardon me. No, pardon me. My son called me. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I checked in with him. How's the snacks holding up, baby? He has the food program. My son goes to college over at the University of Minnesota. It's his first year. Yeah, he has a meal ticket. Yeah. Uh, my mom bought it for him for his graduation gift. She paid for it. Yeah. Oh, where did you come from? Art moments. If you had to choose only three words to describe me, what would you say? And that meal ticket lets him go down to the cafeteria in any of the dormitories and eat. And different dormitories are serving different things. Yeah. Uh, so he always has food, no matter what. Sometimes the cafeteria is closed. Uh, sometimes there is a little off time, but there's always something if you want something. Food and drink. So he has unlimited access to that. Ace of Wands. Hot and sexy new thing with hot hands and her bracelets. Cool. But, of course, he wants some snacks for his dorm room. Uh, he's doing really good in college. Yeah, he hasn't skipped a class. He's told me about... Uh, He's taking calculus, he's taking physics, he's a, a computer science major, yep, and somehow they put him in the, he explained it to me, um, like the liberal part of the computer science uh, classification, but he wants to be in like the engineering part, uh, and so he's going to try to transfer, but right now he's just doing his uh, basics is, uh, things he's supposed to do. He's getting really good grades. Yep. So he's doing good. Uh, he's getting along with his roommate. They've already reorganized the dorm. Yeah, lifted the bed way up high so they have a lounge area. Yeah, they turned it into their hangout pad now. Yeah, well, really study pad. Yeah, my, uh, so he's fitting in. He's doing stuff, making... Uh, making friends. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for him. Yeah. But, of course, the mama in me says, you need snacks, honey? I said, yes. So I went grocery shopping for him. And he was hanging out with his dad. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, my whole son, my son's whole life, uh, he doesn't have much of a presence on my Facebook uh, in his teenage years because he came to me and said, Mom, don't put me on your Facebook. And I said, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was, that's who, he, he just didn't want to have a Facebook presence apparently. And I was like, all right, dude. I had to respect his wishes, yes. Uh, uh huh. So, what do we have here? The hanged one. And it came upside, uh, upside down from upside down. Yeah, spirit's cutting someone down from the hangman position. Aha! I see it. Yeah. Uh, but he's just as much of my life uh, as my daughter, who likes to be on social media. My social media. Yeah. Uh, so. The first 18 years of his life, yeah, I was the main one taking care of him. His dad uh, saw him pretty much every weekend. Yeah. Uh, devil energy just flipped right there. All right. Mm-hmm. It's Gertie. Yeah, people get jealous of Gertie because she's got, uh, she's got nice melons, her watermelons. It's just the way, yeah, it's just the way the soil is in your, her yard. Uh, so now, 
that he's gone to college. He lives pretty close to where his dad lives. And the roles have flipped. Yeah. Now his dad sees him more than I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're super, they're really close to each other. So somebody may have a flip like that. Uh, with something where somebody had carried the ball for the majority of the time and now it's flipped the other way. I hear teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Somebody's decided to put all the wands down. Yeah, they can't handle it anymore. They've just been hanging out in the dark. Yeah. All right. I hear, do you have a dollar? Okay. So, I drove to Cub Foods. Uh, got my cart. No, I went through the door. There's a dude standing at the door. Yeah. Do you have a dollar? I said, no. I won't walk by. He said, will you give me a turkey Lunchables? And I was like, I'll see if you're here when I come out. And I said, okay. And I walked in. And I'm like, dude, I did all that. As soon as I walked through, I'm like, I did all that on autopilot. Yep. No. Nope. Don't have a dollar for you today. No. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, he might spend that dollar uh, on that dollar crack that's over there for sale for a dollar. Yeah. Might use it on drugs. Hmm. Hmm. You listening? Battle Weary Warrior. Very interesting. Do you have a dollar? Hmm. Or... There's just as much of a chance, yes. That he has two children in his house right now. And there's nothing in the refrigerator. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Or. There could be a chance. It's just him and the motherfucker's hungry. Yes. World. So I sat there as soon as I walked through the door, and I'm like, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I turned around and walked back out. Well, no, I walked over to the Lunchables, looked at them. Because the Lunchables were right in the cold. There we go. This came out again. World. This is Spirit Guides are working on all this. Karmic Justice. Uh-huh. I hear she passed the test. All right. So I looked at the Lunchables. They had a turkey sandwich Lunchable where you can make it with like a sub. Look like a little sub sandwich. They had the little Lunchable with just the crackers, the cheese, the turkey. And then they had the VIP Lunchable. Crackers, cheese, turkey, Capri Sun, and a peanut butter cup. So I turned around, walked out. There's the dude, still there. I said, Do you want the sub sandwich kind or the crackers kind? He said, The crackers kind. And I said, All right, I'll be right back. And I went in there and I thought, What? You know, I like to roll down the aisles, look at things, get inspired. I said, Oh, yeah, I'm going to make that for dinner. Yeah, and that's how I kind of grocery shop. And then I told the dude automatic on autopilot, yeah. I'll see if you're here when I come out, you know. Working together, master and apprentice style. And I thought, why am I making this dude wait for me? Uh, uh, do I want to do this for him? Yeah. Who am I to judge? Yeah. So I went back, walked through the produce again. There's blueberries on sale. Half pints, two for four dollars. Yeah. We have one of those. Do you know a blueberry is uh, a superfruit? Yes. 
the blueberry gives you the most nutrients out of any fruit. Two bucks, yeah. Walked back over to the Lunchables. Oh, look at that. You know, the VIP Lunchable is normally $4.99, which I was going to get them anyway. The little Lunchable is $2.99. Mm -hmm. But the VIP Lunchable is on sale for $2.99. Yeah, no brainer. Picked up the $2.99 VIP Lunchable. Took my car, wheeled it over to the self-checkout aisle. What's up? Uh-huh. Oh, nothing. Just hanging out with the Ten of Coins, the Galactic Mother. Yeah. The waterfall might mean something. Got a little lost at the self-checkout line. Couldn't find how you like, get in. The lady working there. I'm like, how do I get in? She's like, over there. We were both laughing. And <coughs> I got in, scanned my stuff. We were laughing at each other. $4.99. Yep, no tax on food in Minnesota. The moon. Isn't my twin flame is coming together. Yes, when a twin flame has learned something horrible has happened to their twin. Yes, they slip into this valor. Mm -hmm. They're psychically connected to their ten of coins. Slide of fiver came into four ninety nine. Two bucks, two ninety nine. Yeah, slid my fiver in there. Got a penny back. Got the receipt. Yeah. I'll held both of the things. Walk back out there. There he was. I said, hey, dude. Here you go. I got you some blueberries, too. He said, like, oh, thanks. So have a good day. He said, you too. Well, I turned around and walked away. I gave him the Lunchables, the blueberries, and the receipt. Yeah. Nine of Cups. This is water. Mm -hmm. In that instance, uh, I got. I feel I got tested. Yeah. On my own ego. Mm -hmm. Because once you give somebody something, when somebody says. Uh, can I have it? And you say, yeah, you can have it. Uh, can I have $10? If you say, yeah, you can have it, you no longer have any say on what that person does with it because you gave it away. You gave it to them. So you don't have any right to judge them on what they do with it. You don't have any right to... Hello, King of Cups. Yes. You're looking at that big, plentiful Fish jumping out of the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Uh-huh. I hear prosperity. You have no right. No, it's no longer yours. You gave it away. Eight of Cups. Divine Masculine Energy flying in. Yep, this person wants to go to their wish fulfillment. It's a spiritual thing. Something that uh, brings in cosmic love, universal love. I hear I am my brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, the lesson got passed on to that dude. Mm -hmm. Here's what you asked for. Here's what you see. You're going to go buy some crack. Yeah. You know the drill. You'll bring it back to customer service and get $4.99. Oh, look at that. Justice. If you're hungry, darling, open it up and eat it.
Then I turned around, went back in, went grocery shopping. Didn't look back, no. Met him on the path? Yeah. I'm not going to dink around customer service, watching and waiting to see what dude's going to do. No, I'm sending up my path. Yeah. So that happened to me. Mm -hmm. Two cups, black sheep star seeds coming together. Wild roses. I hear wild roses bloom all over you, darling. Oh, yes. Hello. And I went in, filled up the cart with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, my kid, he doesn't have a fridge in his room. No, uh, no, he doesn't have a fridge in his room. We had an extra microwave, so he has a microwave. But he does have that little sink, yeah. And uh, so I got him a lot of... Uh, Instant mashed potatoes that you put the water in and put it in there. Yeah. Because it's winter here. Yeah. Dude's got to walk to class in the snow. Yeah. Snow sl slows everything down. Yeah. So you might need to eat some mashed potatoes before you go to class. Yeah. All those kind of things. Little snacks. All that. You look great, Awakening. He showed up with his dad at my house. I hear Spiritual Awakening healed the High Priestess. Mm-hmm, it did for me. I hope it is for you. And it felt good to give him a hug. I hadn't seen him in so long. Yeah, we looked at some pictures from Hawaii. Chariot rushing in. They are here I come to save the day. Yes, this masculine's crown chakra is open. Yep. So yeah, that was a good visit I had with him. Got to hear all about his grades, his classes, uh, that kind of thing. All right. Mm-hmm. This might be the power couple. This might be the other person who had an awakening. Yeah. Part of what they have to deal with is devil energy, jealousy, a low vibration. Mm -hmm. People judging them on everything they do. Okay, these might be the people that are under the microscope like all the time. Yeah, Spirit had uh, the feminine for sure go through a spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. So she can vibe real high and bring in justice and cosmic love. All right. So does that mean we have to give money to everybody who asks us for money or food? No. No. But we do have to look them in the eye when we say no. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you for help, no matter what you think of that person, you don't have to help them. But you have to acknowledge that they're there asking you for help. Mm-hmm. And if you feel like you can't help that day, you look them in the eye and say, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to help you with today, but good luck. No, you don't ignore them because they exist and they're there. And they're having their own experience too. We have to bring back cosmic love, love for another human being. We are our brother and sister's keepers. Mm-hmm. And we have to remember if we decide to be generous, helpful, in whatever way we feel we can be, or if we decide not to for that specific way, mm -hmm. we can't take on responsibility or judgment yeah, here's the Queen of Swords who moon walks in. Yeah. Super smart, fun chick. Yeah. Might be a little sexy. Yeah. 
All right, she don't like to wear a bra either. Yeah. Once you give away whatever you gave away, you can't can't judge it. What it gets used for. Nope. It's no longer yours, it's theirs. Yeah. Alright. So that day I helped about a weird warrior. I was getting a test, yeah. And that day I felt I really felt called to get the dude some lunchables and blueberries. So I did. The wanderer. The fool card. I hear, cause I'm the wanderer. I hear, I roam around, 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 around. Mm -hmm. We've been disputing Rasputin. Mm -hmm. Rasputin, yes, a high priest, definitely, darlings. A high priest in a low vibration, practicing free, free will. Oh, it's true. There are priests and priestesses out there, yes. Who have not conquered the ego, no. Who have not accepted their true destiny, no. They've accepted and done what they want to do, all right. This fell on awakening. Mm -hmm. Rasputin was an example. Yeah, very powerful high priest. Who vibrated low, mm-hmm. Had spiritual gifts. Sometimes use them for good, sometimes use them to manipulate for bad, mm-hmm. I hear an uncontrollable lust, yeah. Didn't master the martial arts of passion, nope. What about Anastasia, darling? Oh, darling. She died with her family. That's true. What a beautiful bracelet, dear. I see three palm treats. Yes. Do you want to listen to my record? Yes. Hmm. All right, darling, come to me. Yes. I love that butterfly body you're in. It's just gorgeous. All right, dear. Peace out.